short video will show you how to use SiteMaker. First place you need to get to is the library portal which you can access through your sector welcome page. When you open you'll be taken to the portal, looks like this. Scroll down to the SiteMaker link and when you click there you'll be taken to this screen. If you're on an iPad it will look slightly different as you just get to see this box to start with. First thing you need to do is register if you've never used SiteMaker before or log in if you have. If you're registering you don't need to put your full name in here. You do need to use your college email though. So that will look like your sector username, sector username at student .edu .au. Oops. Your sector username goes in there. Then you need to confirm your email just to make sure you haven't made any mistakes in it and you click that you're an educator. When you click on register it will send you an email to your email address. You go in there and you grab the password they've sent you. First time you log in you use that password they've given you. As soon as you've done that and you click on login, it's going to ask you to specify file location, just say no. At this point, first time through, update your profile, which means that you can change your password. I suggest you change it to the same one as your sector one so that you've only got one to remember. As soon as you're logged in, you can start using. So you literally go to the search button and first one we'll do, we'll do a book. So I'm just going to grab the, Euro, the ISBN number from this book. And you just paste it in here and click search. SiteMaker will do the work for you. And here we have two options. We've got the name of the author when the book was published, the title of the book, and then we've got the publication details. Sometimes you get two, maybe three options. Depends where the site maker has picked up the information from. In this case, I would click this one because we actually have the date already in there and we can save the preview. At this point, site maker is going to ask us where you want to save that. So once you're logged in, you get this option to actually save all your citations and you can have these for as long as you're at the college. So we can go through here and we'll go, oh, well this was for my English assignment so I'm going to put it in English and then you can set up various file names. If you don't have a file name yet you can add one or you can use an existing one. I've already got one set up here for Chinese Cinderella so I'm just going to save that link into there because I've done this several times in classes, I'll probably have it a few times. Here we go. And here it is. It's already there for us. If later on I wish to export this list, I literally just click on the two or three or twelve that are in there and export. And it will say, how do I like to export it? Which option? On your iPad you have to email them to yourself. But in your laptop you can send them as a Word document you need to leave the page to actually be able to access the document. Open the document up. We'll just have a quick look. And there you can see that it has already formatted my reference list, my bibliography for me. All done. All I need to do is copy and paste that into my assignment. Now let's go back and imagine that we're going to use a website this time. So we're going to search again. We're going to get rid of that ISBN number because we've done that and we're going to use a website. So here's one I have prepared earlier. I'm going to copy the whole website from the top here. Simple command and C and command V to paste it in. And again, we just click on search. Now, as you can see, this time we've got the name of the author, but it says ND here. So it means that the site maker cannot pick up a date that this website was published. So if we pop back to our website, see if we can find a date. 
And here we have, we have February 2015. We actually only need the year. So we can go in here, click on here, and say that we would like to edit this um, citation that it's done for us. Click the edit bar and it tells us what to do. Select the source type in the left hand panel. So we go, okay, it was a website and it brings up the options for us. So we're literally going to type 2015 on the left hand side. If you were looking on the right hand side and if you look now, you will see the date actually appears automatically in there for us. We go, oh yes, thank you. That's exactly what we wanted to do. Save that and again, it's asking us where we want to put it. Because we've just put something into the English folder and the Chinese Cinderella reference list, it's bringing up those options, but we could always change those if this was for a different task. Click on save. And we actually now have this one in here as well. So here it is. A foreman, why foot binding persisted in China for a millennium. And there they all are. Again, we could highlight all three of those and export, or we can just save it till next time. If we look at our in-text references, so these would be the ones, sorry, the MySites ones, that's your bibliography. But your in-text is what you put when you've actually, you're writing your essay and you want to put the little bit of um, information next to a quote or next to an image or next to an idea to say, this is where I got it from. You can see that we have two options. We have the one with bracket, name, comma, date, bracket, and we have name, bracket, date, bracket. In college, we're using this one where everything appears in the brackets. So that's the one you want, and you can just copy that and then use it in your assignment. It's already done for you. That basically is it. SiteMaker is very easy and straightforward for you to use. Any questions, of course, come and see us in the library.